Hello everybody, welcome to the artclasses.com live stream. This live stream is powered by uh, my Patreon at patreon.com slash on the top right side of the screen. Alright, um, if you guys have an access to the Discord, let me know when you get in. Um, I'm putting on headphones just in case if anyone want to come join me. So right now, it's just me at the moment. And I'm working on this chart to push, um, for a little bit this morning. I thought I was going to work it on live stream, but I got it done a bit early. So, um, hello, the book of circus. How are you? So this is, I'm working on this just for fun, um, on a challenge on CG, uh, is it CG? Art Station or something. Um, and you can access, hello, Vignesh. Uh, you can access to my thread at the uh, you know contest. The link is down below the video. Um, so uh, just go there and you can take a look at a bunch of characters that I have there and don't forget to vote. And you can download the GIF file here. So uh, this GIF file probably have step by step right here. I'm gonna play. Let's see. Um, there. Is it playing? Yeah, so it has a step by step process. So if you click the link down below, well, you don't have to click it now. You can click at the end of it, and you can have this GIF file that will, you know, have a step step by process, and the link will take you to this submission here, right? And then you can just download from there, and don't forget to vote for me. Almost click withdraw right there, and then on this whole thread, you can have like, you're gonna get to see a bunch of characters. I just designed this. Uh, this whole thing take me like I don't know a few days. Um, all right, that's quite a while. So today I thought I was gonna work on this chart thingy, but then uh, it's I'm kind of like almost finished here, so I'm not sure what to add on it yet. But probably a little more rim light and a little bit of detail so it's not much to work on um, then I think today I'm going to work on uh, kind of start from almost scratch so this is electric ray lady so she has like a electric stingray so she has like electrical power or something hey Joffrey how are you um, if you have any questions, feel free to post down on to the chat board. So this, I'm not sure what, I'm probably going to put some fabric or design. Um, I will probably base this on like Middle Asia <clears throat> or the Mongol or something. Because this armor is kind of Asian influence. Um, the heroes have a different type of armors. So if you go to the thread, you'll see a bunch of sea lion and stuff so it's a, among chalk and sea lions so I'm gonna work on a puffer fish today um, I num so this character is also <coughs> excuse me sorry don't know what happened to my throat um so today we are going to I didn't really like it it was I painted really quick and kind of I kind of have an image in my mind but it didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to so the puffer fish wise I think I kind of like him because I want her to look funny so um, but on the one before the transform I want her to look cute but it's not cute enough so I think I'm gonna change that a bit so this is kind of a little bit further than a thumbnail it's still sort of like a thumbnail because the full character is probably gonna be um, more detail. I just kind of do a speed painting really quick. So in here, I'm just gonna bring her down and do a bunch of different variation. Maybe three different variation. And since it's already in color, I can just paint it with color. You don't have to do black and white unless you're not comfortable with it. Then uh, if it's more comfortable for you to do thumbnail in black and white, then you can feel free, but I would recommend if you're beginners, you can just turn it into black and white. So you can just turn there and, you know, turn this to 
grayscale. <clears throat> but, oh, no, uh, that's the whole layer. Uh, you can just make a selection. Well, you don't want to turn the whole thing to grayscale. Then you can go to new layer, and then you can go to, well, you can go to color, and then you can just pick black and fill it in here and it should be okay boom see now everything is in black and white with the exception of I think that was on a different layer the puffy thing there but anyway so I don't need it to turn into black and white but if you want to you know how so now um, thinking so let's compare so I have to kind of turn sometimes I have to turn my character on so I see the the scale of each character like how tall they would be right uh, the puffer fish I want it to be like a giant puffer fish so it's kind of big or I can resize it later in final so uh, I haven't thought about it yet and then you got hammerhead chart right here ba -ba. but anyways um, now I am going to go to the puffer fish this layer, that's a new layer, so I just made that. So I'm just gonna maybe make some quick design here. Let's start off on the right, right to the left. Oh, um, you've got to click on the image to finish. Yeah, I don't know how to post GIF up there. I'm pretty new to art stations. So, um, so you guys can go help me out there. Vote, because I super new I don't really know how it works over there I just kind of I get there like a couple months ago or a few months ago something like that all right so I'm just gonna add the head maybe I'm gonna make her some sort of a ninja no a Ronin sort of maybe well I'm just gonna it's kind of hard to erase so I'm just gonna cut this out Oops, wrong layer. I'm just gonna cut this out and put it on different layers so I can just erase or do something with the shape right off the bat. So merge that down, all right. And I'm not worried about that. I can repaint them later, so. Trying to find a good shape. Uh, maybe shift chain. What if I try a different type of costume? Well, make another layer just in case. All right. And then I'm just, just going to put her arm down. Why not? Erase some of these. And usually you see me painting with shape right off the bat. Um, you can try it. Take a, if you're not used to it, it's going to take a while to practice. It's not going to be like Oh, I'm just gonna paint with shape right away. So um, it's gonna take a while to get used to, but eventually you will get the hang of it. Everything takes practice. Either you make a transition from digit uh, from traditional to digital, or um, traditional drawing to oil painting. Right? Everything is gonna take some practice. So take some time. Get to know the process. Every new process is a new learning stuff thingy all right okay so maybe bigger and then I have to add a pattern later on so match with the puppy fish or my I might have to change the um, pattern of the puffer fish So that could be a little more gray, I think, or a little more brown. Just gonna 
paste that. so I can see. All right. Um, I don't know. You, if you click right click, uh, there are two image. So I don't know. Or just save it, then it will be GIF. <laughs> Click right click and save. Um, all right. Uh, now, so this leg is coming up, so it's gonna make this, so it's gonna kind of change the silhouette a bit. So I gotta put that leg down for now. Maybe I could borrow these and flip it. Yeah, it's gonna look too symmetrical, but. What the hell? Can you angle it a bit? There. All right. Hmm. Maybe short sleeve. Borrow that. Or maybe yellow. shorter um, some sort of a code or hakama or whatever there we go then in there I could make it eh, let's make it yellow too add some of these that looks all right. Then I gotta add some eyes on top. some dark color and maybe need a little bit of teeth Just use dodge, just make that lighter a little bit. Yeah, because it will save it as a GIF, so this should be okay after you download it. All right, so now I'm um, gonna add maybe some hair. Make that color there. So the hair, well. Some fin over here instead of the hair. It's a magic hat. But then her hair would. Oh, okay, I have some idea. Let me make her hair like super long. I like the tail of it. Maybe a bit lighter. Desaturate because. has to be shorter than the sleeve so you can see the significant or you can see the 
shape. Because the most important thing of a cylinder is to give it a unique shape. Basically, a cool shape. So I think I kind of like it better than the first one there. Um, maybe I'll just leave one side coming down, have that pattern from the belly button. So, both side. Okay, let's let's make that. Oops, make copy. So these four layers. Well, actually, we just make copy of the three layers. Merge everything down. To the next, then I can make some kind of a variation of some sort. Um, maybe change the hat or change some. Where's the body? So, here, let's name that face. So, usually, this live stream will go about 30 to 45 minutes. So, I just come in, say hi, and painting a little bit. I will be back to drawing pretty soon, but at this time I'm just having fun working on these. Um, and if you want to know how to kind of paint this whole thing, you can go to my gum root and it has a bunch of basic or beginner's package, right? So you can, you know, the process. And the process is like the Theory, um, well, not theory, but uh, the know-how is very important, the foundation and all that. Um, so this, I am going to maybe, what kind of shape do I want? Oh, it can have like a bow in the back. All right. Let me erase the base a little bit. And if you have like a kimono, short, I mean, uh, tighter ones. Well, let's get away with the legs here. The whole thing, why not? We'll copy that legs. So this one is going to be a tighter style kimono maybe longer now SketchUp is put a good program um, and it's free you can use that to help you when you're making mech or building or something like that. Very useful. Go to the base and place those. like up forgot might as well copy this whole thing with the same base there we go now we have like a longer kimono or something let's do well if it's a kimono then they have to close up
So that's going to be long. I kind of forgot what it looks like. inside the sleeve. All right, how did we do about maybe 10 more minutes and try to finish these? Um, oops. this layer here, and that's the top layer, and let's go a little more orange, it doesn't have any orange on the face, but it's just going to go a little bit, and that will be her belt, and then I can add some sort of Excuse me, higher. find a correct shape or because in the setup it's very important that you get the shape that you really uh, really want to work on because don't when you do thumbnail don't just do it like uh, just get it done um, try to set it up so that it will be easy for you to work on it later on hello kitty 
Um, you can use any program, Sketchbook Pro, Poly B will be the same, uh, Paint Tool Side, Poly the same. As long as it has layer and color and black and white that you can work with, any program would work. This is just basic. Um, I don't use, I haven't used any modifier or anything like that. It's just separating layer, that's all. It shouldn't be that complicated. I have students who use like Procreate and they can, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So it's fine. If you have iPad, you can also use Procreate. But I think I'm not sure you can if it would be good for making thumbnails. You can even make thumbnail with gouache. I usually use marker to do thumbnails. Hello kitty. And then a little bit of design there. sketch. So the design inside I don't really care much for because eventually it's going to change so these are just mock-up but then in the end you have to go in and like design whatever you're trying to design and add a bunch of stuff there right but in the beginning um, what you really should um, care about the shape more. Once your shape looks well, once you say, uh, sorry, if your shape is setting up right, then you know you it's gonna be gonna make everything else looks better. So now I could use maybe dark blue or almost black. Longer. Now I have an idea of adding some more stuff to this guy. Because now it doesn't look so cool, so maybe add something here. Thanks, Kitty. Don't underestimate the thumbnail because it's small. Um, thumbnail's awesome. Because if you get it up right, you can make the small little things into this thing here. And it's, as you can see on the GIF, and the link to the GIF is below my um, video. And when you go up there, don't forget to vote for me. Because um, I go there to conquer. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. Go there to win basically just like a samurai going in with a sword and kill everyone alright well that's not a samurai, I'm, I'm wrong um, that's actually a ronin if you have no master you can kill pretty much everyone <laughs> raid the village or something alright, now I'm just talking by myself and you have a bow here in the back Usually they don't hang down as much because they're tight, pretty tight, but uh, this is a concept, you can do whatever you want. So there, so this one you have hair up on there, this one I have that tail up down below. So, um, maybe you need a little bit of white color. Hello Louis, what's going on? I'm trying to see what else I could add here. This. this the 
hat could, I don't know, change maybe the passing it. Okay, so this one doesn't look as good anymore. <laughs> um, like I said, the more thumbnails you do, the more result you're gonna get. You're gonna get better stuff with thumbnails. And you have more variety within like, you know, less than 10, 15 minutes for each thumbnail. You, you don't have to talk like I do, you probably can do a lot faster. Hello, Jiro Bite. What's going on? Thank you. Mm. Now I can. So this hat doesn't really fit the style of the thumbnail. So I think I'm gonna change the hat. Pink the skin and so I'm gonna go about five more minutes then I will have to go to work. But if you really want to know how I paint, you're gonna learn the uh, foundation so you can go to click on the top right link then you see a bunch of uh, beginner's package tutorials so you know how to set up the light and all that kind of stuff or you can take class with me so this I'm going to make it a little more slim slimmer basically not a little more slim what am I talking about Hmm, then I kind of want to add the armor on it. Then I gotta add some sort of eyes. Yes, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick yet. Probably have to take a look at it. Uh, I could add some more stuff to this guy here. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe the back. Okay, it's gotta be red then. Well, it's gonna be blue because it's on the inside. Any question, guys? Sorry, a little too heavy. There we go. Mm. Not 
Hello, Shiva Corazon. What's going on? Okay, the third one. Oh, I forgot to, I have this in mind the whole time, and then I forgot. Um, Spring of Yellow because you have that pattern there. Maybe I just do this, this one here. Oh, that doesn't look good. That's too busy. Maybe it's just on her, on the bottom. Maybe some kind of string. Yeah, that's too busy. Or maybe if I make it a little more subtle. Like you don't really see it in the beginning. Hey, Echiro. If you just see it kind of really faint, you just do 30%. And then when you get angry, just get more yellow. I think that could work. Because I don't want it to be too stand out at the moment. Kind of like, you know, one of those um, fabric that has pattern with slightly different color but you can't really make it out so there but when it's transformed it get more yellow so use that so that's one and this one well Same. Let's make it a bigger stripe. Oh, cool. Color theory. So you're going to need it. You need to use it for the rest of your career. Oh, actually, this one looks a lot nicer. Change this also, the line is slightly too thin. See, I'm like super anal about even thumbnail. Like I said, thumbnail is really important. Detail will come later. I mean, uh, this is already kind of a little bit of detail, but it's more of a bigger detail to get all the design. Okay, there. I think that's what I want. Um, and then the third one, I could actually have some. Oh, actually, I gotta go. So, well, we can do five more minutes, I guess, since it's been 40. Um, might as well finish the last one. Where did I study? I didn't go to art school, but I worked for ArenaNet and Square Enix. I worked for ArenaNet for almost 10 years. I worked for Disney for two years. So, so I study. Yeah, I go to light drawing a lot. So, but I've been drawing since I was a kid. So I just study like mostly. If you know, I go, I go to online workshop back then. Uh, but that's when I already start working. But I have a degree in uh, business, so not art. I like mathematics.
So, whatever degree you get, make sure you like it. And make sure whatever you do, just you have to take it seriously. You don't have, you see a bunch of people, well, go to art university and stuff, and your parents probably, well, you gotta go to one at a really good school. Whatever you do, you just, just gotta do it every day. And school is not just school, it's not over. Um, your study or your whatever you do for a living or not for a living or whatever you want to learn is never over. It doesn't matter, you know, you have like a certificate or degree or some shit, it doesn't do jack. Um, whatever you do is your body of work. So, so go study hard, Chiva. But take whatever you learn and keep doing it forever because it's going to be the rest of your life. So, we got four more minutes and let's try to finish this one. I kind of like this one, but that one turns out slightly better. Maybe if I mix and match. I don't know, see. Okay, which one do you like? Number, one, number two or number three better? I'm going to start working on number one, but I'm going to take the vote now. Number two, just type it down below. So I kind of like them all equally. Or type particularly, if you like particular part of the certain things, that's also good. Type them in. And congratulations on what? I actually haven't won a million dollars yet. But thanks, Jirobite. Yeah, life is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Especially in art, because in art you don't have, uh, it's not like sport, you don't, your body, in sport, if your body breaks down, you, can, you can't do jack anymore, but in art, as long as you keeping it healthy, then you can do a bunch of stuff longer than anybody else. Um, I mean, you can work hard, but don't work too hard. Work hard. But you gotta take care of the rest of your body also. You like number three? Mm. Okay, I guess. But I feel like I need to add some more stuff in there. Okay, now I'm doing number one. So before. Golden. Number one might be awesome. It's really hard for me to settle down on stuff. That one shouldn't have the white, that should be fine. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, uh, most of these, you, I just have one main color, which is blue. Uh, then you have a secondary, and then you have the rest. So, three color is usually fine, but you have to have one majority of color. 
or the dominant element. Step number three. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna have to go. So don't, if you want to download, let's see, I'm gonna leave this video to public I guess, um, since if you want to download the process for this guy, it's a GIF process, uh, go to the link down below the video, um, it will take you to ArtStation here, and then click on that and then you just click save and then you have a GIF process and don't forget to click um, like just vote me up or something and then I will come back and do more video alright guys well well if you only if you like it if you don't like it then you just don't vote up but if you do like oh of course you like it Jesus who oh, I'm just kidding alright guys well I hope you guys have good times on the video or on a lesson. Not actually lesson is different. Um, <coughs> the lesson will be more serious. This one I'm just kind of casually drawing and talking shit. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thank you Jiro, Shiva, Vignesh, Kitty, and Exio. And alright, I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. So the live stream, remember, usually go on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 p.m. Pacific time zone. And Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific time. So have a great day. Bye bye.